Hello my dear friends, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we will be discussing about properties of substances. So let's first start with brittleness. What do we mean by brittleness? Substances that easily break down into small pieces or particles are called as brittle substances. For example, glass. If you try to break glass, it breaks down easily. This property of substance is called as brittleness. So, brittleness is the property wherein substances break into small pieces or particles very easily. The next property is hardness. What do we mean by hardness? Hardness of a substance is simply determined by how much resistance it offers to the substances being pushed through it. For example, diamond. Diamond is the hardest natural substance which is present on earth. Diamond is an allotrope of carbon. Since diamond is very very hard, it is used for cutting glass as well as for drilling and grinding. The next property is elasticity. Now friends, what do we mean by elasticity? Some substances change their shape and size when a force is applied to them, but they return to their original shape and size when the force is removed. This property is called as elasticity. An excellent example of elasticity is rubber. If you take a rubber band and you stretch it, when you stretch the rubber band, its shape and size changes, right, when you apply force to it. But when you leave the rubber band, that is, you remove the force, it returns back to the original shape and size, which means that rubber exhibits the property of elasticity. The next property is fluidity. Now, friends, fluidity is simply the property of liquids. As we know, liquids flow on a surface, and this property is called as fluidity. Fluidity of any liquid is determined by how easily it flows. For example, water and juices are examples of fluid substances, right? For example, if I take a metal plate, a very thin metal plate of a very small size, and at three different places on the metal plate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add water, honey, and gum. And I've held this metal plate in a kind of inclined position, right? So now, as we know that liquids have a property of uh, fluidity, right? That is, they flow on a surface, right? So now water, honey, and gum, they all start flowing down through the slope, right? Now, you will notice that water flows very easily, right? As compared to the honey and gum, right? This is what is the property of fluidity. So, as I said, fluidity of any liquid is actually determined by how easily it flows, right? The next property is density. Now, substances with same volume but which are made of different materials are said to have different densities, which means that it is not necessary that substances which are made up of the same material, which have the same volume, may have the same density, right? These substances may have different densities. For example, some substances which are made of the same material, having the same volume, one of them may be more dense, whereas the other may be light. So, the substances which are actually more dense, that is, the ones which are having more density, are heavier, whereas the substances which have less density are lighter. Let's take an example to understand this, right? So, here as you can see, I have two blocks. You can see these two blocks are of the same size. One of the block is made up of wood and the other block is made up of iron. Now, as you can see, these two blocks have the same size, right? They occupy the same volume, but they are made up of two different substances, right? Now, as we know, iron is heavier, right? Iron is more denser, its density is more as compared to wood. So, what happens is the one which is made with iron, since it has more density, it will be on the heavier side of the weighing balance, whereas the wooden block, which has less density, which is lighter, will be on the lighter side of the weighing balance. So, it is not necessary that materials which have the same size, same volume would have the same density. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.